There's no mercy on the streets. It's only you, and you can only achieve what you desire and what you see yourself grabbing. There's no nobody will help you make your dreams come true. You out there by yourself. Make it out the hood, they say you Hollywood. How do you niggas tell me that I got it good? Gotta check and treat the niggas like I'm Robin Hood. When it was time to stand up for me, see nobody stood. And I was looking at you niggas, all the ones I fed. Had me grinding all them nights when you was going to bed. And if you think I owe you some niggas going to hate. Treat you like I never knew you put it on your head. My name is Omar Shiro. I'm a 6'1 combo guard from Brampton, Ontario, and I play for the Western Mustangs. How'd you start playing basketball? Uh, man, I, I was an athletic kid growing up. I uh, played all different types of sports, um, but I played basketball, and that was my, that was my, my first love. Um, played from when I was probably in the first, second grade onward. It was definitely my older brother, um, older brother Ahmed. Uh, we're like 14 months apart, so we're attached by the hip. Um, and he was always better than me at a young age for, for a while, and my motivation was just to get better than him, and he taught me so much. Uh, little things, having the right attitude, competing. Um, I got that off from being the younger brother. Uh, yeah, everything's situation, so everybody's uh, everybody's path is different. So my path might be different from another guy that's the same age as me, and vice versa. Um, but I would say whatever is a fit, man. Um, whatever can help you develop as a player the most. And um, yeah, that's the, the biggest thing is development. It's not about exposure. It's not about all that stuff. It's about developing. So you have a relationship with the coach, and the team sees you uh, as being a key player uh, going forward, and you can see yourself growing there. So you go for it. Uh, the stars aligned, man. It was my path. Um, after coming back from prep school um, and, and, and looking at the options I had, um, and Brad uh, created me from early on in high school and still keeping up with me. Um, and Western being a good academic school, being not too far from home, um, in the situation that, that Western presented, um, it was it was a good decision. Yeah, uh, these guys would be say yes, but uh, not really. Like I'm not, I'm not doing it to get their uh, get their check mark or or their credit. Um, I know the player I am. No matter what the level I play, I know the level I can play at, and the level I am, and another player I am. So um, see me in the gym. <laughs> so like I gotta say to them. <laughs> NBA is like, of course, my dream. Like, uh, that's the highest level you can play basketball. The best basketball players. Uh, I work my ass off um, and keep keep working, keep at it. But ultimately, I want to play basketball for as long as I can um, and making a living of it. So, whether that's in Europe or in the NBA or in the G League, um, I know my love for the game is is enormous. So, wherever that takes me. Uh, it's crazy, but like, ultimately, winning. Um, if I'm a top player on a winning team, um, that speaks volumes to, to to everybody, including my team and people watching. Just knowing that it's not just about my stats, it's just about winning. 
um, being a keeper on a winning team and, and, and chipping into something that's bigger. Um, so I know I'm a top guard in the country. Uh, I know I can do it on the court. Uh, but it's not about me being a top guard in the country. It's about me being a great guard for the guys on my team and, and playing my role and trying to teach us to achieve something bigger. So and that's, with, that's going to nationals and, and getting some hardware. Yeah, man, Brad, Brad let me know what it was from the moment I stepped in um, to the program. Uh, he knew my abilities and knew what I can do, um, but he pushed me to improve at things that I didn't do too well or pay attention to. Um, and he told me, like, you know, just do the things you have to do on the court, on the, on, on the other side, and the, and the office side of work, to work, work out, because that's what I naturally do. So he always empowered me and, 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 and let me play, how, play, play my game. Uh, the goal is LeBron James, but uh, other than LeBron James, my favorite player um, is easily Damian Lillard. Clock is off. Portland has a timeout. Lillard, a chance to send the Thunder home. Lillard, long range three, and it's good! At the buzzer, Damian Lillard! Are you kidding me? From the guy, I just resonated with him for a guy that went to not the biggest school. Um, just always had that mentality, a dog mentality. Knew his worth, knew who he was, and more than more than anything else, he's a leader, man. Um, you know how he's coming every day, uh, every game. Uh, he's even killed, never too high, never too low, um, and he just plays his game, man. Just soft-spoken, doesn't say much, just goes out and kills every day. Um, and he's earned his respect as, as it went on. And he, he didn't go out looking for it. He knew it was going to come just by playing and putting his head down. So I resonate with his mentality, his game, and, and his leadership. Um, in the NBA, there's, a, there's definitely a couple of Muslim guys. But I think um, in soccer, I watch a lot of soccer. So there's a lot more of like uh, diversity within them. So there's a lot of like Muslim players who have a strong faith, like Sadio Mane, Kurzuma. Um, those are just a few names. In Mosala, um, those are just a few names. Um, that guys that, you know, like they're not afraid to show their faith and they're not afraid of, of anything and they just put the trust in God and let the rest take care of itself. Oh man, um, there's so much that I can say, but I think I think the best advice I could give is that everybody thinks the path is a straight line. Their path, their path to success is a straight line, um, but it's really a zigzag. So, and everybody's path is different. So, everybody has this in their mentality: Oh, um, I'm gonna play for the best AU team, try to make their team, go to a big tournament, I want to do circuits. Um, show up in front of Tom Izzo, Krzyzewski, all these guys and get my D1 scholarship, go kill, and be a lottery pick. Um, but man, everybody has their own path, man. So just know, just keep your head down, keep putting in the work. It will show if you're a player that's a good player. <laughs> don't, don't try to go out and look for attention. It will find you. Keep your head down, put in the work, and <laughs> it will show. Don't, don't worry about that. Uh, just to my to my family, honestly. Uh, my my dad, Mahmoud Shiro, hardworking man. Um, he's got my family. He, we live comfortably my whole life because of him and my mom, Mahabha Mohammed. The best parents I could ever ask for. Um, and my brothers and sisters, man, Asha, Hassan, Ahmed. You guys are the reason who I am today. Um, and yeah, man, let's keep rocking. Shit the way.